Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy. And recently someone had asked me how to make the grid lines in Logic a little easier to see. And so I thought to myself, you know, this is a perfect chance to show off some of the view settings in Logic that allow you to customize things like this, the grid lines, the background, you can customize the piano roll background. And so you can think of the view settings as kind of like accessible accessibility settings can help to just make things visually look a little easier on the eyes. And, you know, whether it's just like an eyesight issue or just a, you know, personal taste, um, I totally get it. You know, some people prefer like a darker look like this. Some people prefer uh, a lighter uh, look, kind of like the old versions of Logic. And so I'm going to show you how to uh, get to these view settings uh, in this video. Now, these are global settings. So to access these, you're going to go up to Logic Pro settings and then go down to view and then from here there are four tabs under general you can set the dialog appearance to be light or dark so that's just going to control the color of individual dialogues in logic or you can make it follow your system setting if you like I prefer light for this. You can select large local window menus. And so what this will do is it'll make menus when you right click or control click a little bit larger. It makes the font, uh, the text a little bit larger. So here's the regular size. And then here's with large local windows. That's a really helpful one. Uh, large inspectors is another helpful one as well. You can see the region inspector, the group inspector, and the tracking inspector all have larger fonts now. So this can make things a little bit easier to see. And another one in here that's really helpful uh, in the inspectors is when you select show default values. So many of the parameters in the inspectors start at zero. And if you turn this option off, you'll just see nothing on those menus. But if you click Click this option, you'll see that default value. And this is particularly helpful with, you know, like swing where 50% is essentially no swing. And uh, another one is the wide playhead. If you have trouble seeing the playhead, you can turn on the wide playhead. That'll just make the playhead bar a little bit thicker so you can see that a little bit better. And then help tags uh, allow you to hover over things in Logic and it'll tell you what they are. So if I hover over the record enable button, it'll tell me it's record enable. Hover over input monitoring, it tells me it's input monitoring. Okay, so let's move on to the next tab, which is tracks. You can adjust your track and region colors here, but the main two I want to take a look at are the background and grid lines options. So you can set this to a dark background, which is default, or a bright background. Or if you put this on custom, you can drag the slider around. You can go between a dark background and a light background or put it somewhere in between. So if you prefer the background of, you know, Logic 9 or something, you can put that somewhere here in the middle. Now for the grid lines, it's going to colorize the grid lines automatically. But if you uncheck this, this will allow you to individually control the brightness of your vertical grid lines and your horizontal grid lines. Now the horizontal grid lines are a little bit harder to see, but if I turn off the black option, you'll see those horizontal grid lines here and you can make those more dim or you can make them more bright. By default, Logic makes them black, just like so. And you can also make the vertical uh, grid lines black as well if you prefer. I think I'll make those a little bit lighter and maybe lighten them up just a touch. And then when you go to the editors, there's an option here for a bright background in the piano roll editor. So let's go ahead and just open up the piano roll editor. Here it is. This is the default look of the piano roll editor. And if I click bright background, now I have a bright background for my piano roll editor. There are some other options here in Mixer. And like I said, there's some other options under tracks and general, but those are the main, what I would consider like sort of accessibility view options that can help make things look a little easier on the eyes. Or, you know, I just turned 40 and my eyes are pretty bad. I'm pretty close to needing bifocals at this point. Uh, so, you know, some of these things can certainly be helpful uh, to keep you from, you know, having having eye strain uh, as you're, you know, navigating through your logic projects, especially if you sit in front of a computer all day like I do, um, having to really squint to see small things can be an issue. And like I said, these are global. So when you close out this project and reopen this project or another project, all of these settings will be saved. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support. And thanks for watching.